My family, Patrick J. Adams, who plays Mike Cross on Suits, posted a never before seen photo of Megan. A never before seen behind the scenes photo of Megan on the set of Suits. And my family, this photo is gorgeous. This photo of Megan is gorgeous. And my family, he also posted one other photo of Megan, you know, lying on the floor. Alongside Sarah Raffetti, who was sitting, you know, in a couch on the set of Suits. And here is what Pat J. Adams said on his Instagram account. He said this, I miss my friends. Each and every single one of them. Wow. Wow, 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 my family. You know, I like seeing this. I, I like seeing this. And do you know why I like seeing this? I like seeing this because my family, once again, the world keeps on being reminded about Megan's life before she married into the toxic royal family. You know? Before she married Prince Harry, who's a good man, who's a good husband, my family. But she joined the royal family, a toxic institution. And my family, in this life, in her past life, no one ever accused Megan of bullying. No one ever accused Megan of anything. Everyone who has ever worked with Megan only has but nice words to say about working with Megan. Every single person. And my family, especially those who have worked with Megan on the set of suits, every single person, everyone. Not a single person ever said one negative word about Megan. Not a single person from the creator of Suits to cast members who worked alongside Megan. Not a single one ever said one bad word about Megan Markle. Not a single one. My family, not a single one. Patrick J. Adams. When the royal family lied by calling Megan a bully, he was the first person to condemn what the royal family were doing and tell the farm to back off of Megan, to back off and call off its hounds, the UK media, to stop the attacks and abuse of Megan Markle. That's what Patrick. J. Adams did. My family. While describing Megan as his friend. That's what he did. And it is not just him. Other cast members who worked with Megan also said the same thing. They also defended Megan from the lies being spread about her by the UK Tower Press who are following the orders of the farm of Prince William and Charles. My family, I'm not oblivious that I won't ever forget what Harry told us in the Mew can see of what happened when the royal family lied and called Megan a bully. Prince Harry told us in the Mew can see that he woke up in the middle of the night to hear his pregnant wife crying because the royal family had lied and labeled her a bully. A woman who has never ever been accused of even one negative thing prior to meeting Pizari. Not even one thing. The tabloids looked for any doubt about Megan and they found nothing. They found nothing. And when they found nothing, they began offering money. To people to lie about Meghan Markle. They offered the likes of Simon Rex up to $70,000 to lie that he had slept with Meghan Markle. And he told the entire world what happened. 
What did you see? BBC News, Daily Mail, discussing what Simon Rex had said about the lengths UK media were willing to go to to lie about Meghan. To lie just to try and destroy Meghan's reputation. My family, you did not see that. My family, Meghan is a kind woman, an amazing woman, and everyone who meets her will tell you the same, same thing. My family, everyone who meets her will tell you the same, same thing. If you are a good person with a very good heart, you will be in Meghan's life. If you are a toxic person who goes to tabloid media to abuse Meghan Markle, you won't be in Meghan's life. And my family, abusers, you should never ever have in your life. And Megan is a human being. I think we've all seen how the UK media have been trying to push people who are abusive towards Megan inside her life. To try and emotionally blackmail Megan into having people who are abusive in her life, like Thomas Markle, Samantha Markle, or Thomas Markle Jr., They've been trying to push abusive people into or inside Megan's life. And as I've always said, Megan owes abusers nothing. My family. And no one should ever be forced to have someone who's abusive inside of their lives. Nobody. Not Harry. Not Megan. Not you. Nor I. No one. And my family, for me, I'm just really happy at how Megan has dealt with those who are toxic in her life. I'm very, very happy. I'm very happy. I mean, Megan is the blueprint, really, of protecting your mental health, of protecting your sanity. Megan is the blueprint. Never let anyone try and blackmail you into having someone abusive into your life. Don't ever allow it. Don't ever, ever allow it. And my family, for the cast who have worked with Megan, those, those members of Suits cast who have worked with Megan, for me, I do pray we get to see a reunion. My family, I think I have said that really. I do hope we get to see a reunion, you know, an episode really. Featuring, you know, the reunion of Suits cast members. I That will be a major, major hit. That's what I firmly believe, my family. And it would be so nice to see, you know, Megan, Patrick J. Adams, Sarah Raffetti, who played Donna, or Gabriel March, Harvey Specter, you know, on Suits. I believe that that's going to be incredible. And my family, I don't know if it will ever happen. I have no idea if that will ever happen. But my family, I'm hoping it will. I really, really hope it will. You know, I really, really hope it will. Even the media itself already has begun speculating on what could happen next. After Patrick J. Adams posted these photos of Megan, let me read you just some kind of, you know, headlines. Hello Magazine said this on its headline, my family. Megan Markle rocks, sweat miniskirt, and preppy shirt in close friend's Instagram photo. You know? One other, you know, media outlet said this. Reports of suits renewal surface as Megan J. Adams keep mum, you know, on stories about that. And my family, one other headline, Patrick J. Adams hints at Meghan Markle's comeback in Suits Reboot. My family, they have never ever said such a thing. They have never ever said such a thing. There are, there are talks really of a Suits kind of reunion. There are talks of that. But Patrick J. Adams has never said anything about a Suits Reboot, my family. He has just said he misses each and every single one of his friends. Of those he worked with, 
insults. That is what he said. And my family, I would like to see Rick Hoffman reunited with Megan. I would like to see that Rick Hoffman is the guy who played Louis Lett on Suits, my family. I mean, the guy has been posting, you know, photos on his Instagram stories of, you know, Megan and him drinking some wine together. They miss Megan. They miss Megan. Uh, you know, and that tells you a story of who Megan is. If you're someone who is good, if you're someone who has a good heart, when you leave, you know, your work, my family, when you leave your work, really, people who have worked with you will miss you. They'll miss you. Because they know you are a good person. People who are toxic are never missed. People who are toxic are never missed. And my family, we are seeing the people who have worked with Megan are missing Megan. And I do really hope from the bottom of my heart we do see a Suits reunion. I do hope from the bottom of my heart we see that. I believe that that is going to be incredible. Just seeing that Suits reunion, seeing the entire cast of Suits just reunited together, you know? Talking to each other. My family, that will be completely incredible, my family. I mean, a few days ago, let me read you a report on how good Suits is still performing my family. More than 10 weeks later. Please kindly hear this. Nielsen streaming top 10 charts. Suits takes first place for 10th week in a row. Suits takes the first place for the 10th week in a row. Somebody, please just ensure there's a Suits reunion. Please, 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 for the sake of the fans here. You know, for 10 weeks in a row now, Suits has been the most streamed title on Nielsen's weekly rankings. And according to data from the ratings measurement company, it up Appears the viewership of the series, which had a major spike after it was added, you know, to Netflix in June, despite already streaming on Peacock, is now shifting to emphasize on the later seasons. People have been watching Zone 1, 2, 3, 4, and they are shifting now to 5, 6, 7. My family, we are going to keep on seeing Suits still being number one for weeks to come, for weeks to come, as people keep on streaming, as people keep on watching week after week, week after week. My family, wow, I'm happy. I'm so, so happy. You know, I'm so, so happy, my family. When Suits first appeared on Netflix, Season 1 accounted for nearly 55% of viewing. You know? And those suits has now notched up under 3 billion minutes watched for two consecutive weeks. This time, with 2.7 billion minutes, it still laps. Its competitors considerably my family with the next most stream title who is Erin Carter, Carter, clocking in at just over a billion minutes. <laughs> My family, don't forget one thing that Suits, you know, aired, first aired more than a decade ago. And it's beating new series that are coming out. My family, please kindly do not forget that. Do not forget that. You know? Suits, first aired more than a decade ago and even right now it is still beating you know a bunch of series that have just aired my family and it is beating them by far by far by far by far it is beating them by far and my family i'm so happy about this i'm so happy about the amazing performance of suits i am so so happy you know, 
And I'm so, so happy about this amazing performance of Suits. And I feel like, thanks to this amazing performance of Suits, you know, cast members who have worked with Megan are now going to be getting more and more phone calls from Hollywood. Being like, hey, look, I want you to star in this movie or series in Hollywood. Because right now, everybody, most people right now, they know the cast, the actors who have starred in Suits. And I do believe that these people, Patrick J. Adams, you know, Gabriel March, will be getting more and more phone calls from Hollywood asking, hey, look, will you come and star in this show? Will you come and do this movie? And my family, you know, doors have been opened. Doors have been opened. Because people have a huge interest in Megan's life. And my family, I'm so happy about this. I'm really, really happy and excited about this so, so much, my family. And Patrick J. Adams' post of, you know, I miss my friends, each and every one of them, has attracted thousands of comments. My family, you know, I miss Louis Late. Let me just kindly <laughs> say that. You know, at first, when you're watching Suits, you you are like I don't like Louis Slate. The guy is so tough. The guy is so you know more like a bully really on suits when he's speaking to his other you know lawyers there. But then as the series develops, my family, you have this interest, this love for Louis Slate. In fact, even Megan was asked, "What's her favorite scene?" You know, in suits really, and she said the mad bat scene. Those who've watched Suits know exactly what I'm talking about. Those who've watched Suits know exactly what I am talking about, my family, you know? Whereby this guy, Louis Lee, my family, was told that, you know what, Louis, you are going, you know, on a mad bath with, with Donna. And also, Megan was also covering my family. And the guy almost fainted when he had that. So my family... I believe when you are working in Hollywood, even though I've never really worked there really, but I have had stories in my family, that it's not easy to get, you know, to work with people who later on become family. It's not easy to get that. And my family, we are really, really seeing that, you know, friends have become family on the set of Suits. Friends have become more like family. And that is what they had, you know, in Suits. An amazing atmosphere, amazing friends, really. And my family, I'm very, very happy about that, that to see even, you know, Patrick J. Adams, you know, they're missing working with Meghan Markle. I can see that even Rick Hoffman also, the guy also misses working with Meghan Markle. People who have worked with Meghan, my family, they miss working with Meghan. And I'm hoping that one day, one time, we'll be able to see, you know, some kind of Suits reunion, my family. I'm really, really hoping that one day we'll get to see, you know, some kind of Suits reunion. I believe that, you know, the fans would really, really, would really, really, Love that so much, my family. I firmly believe that 100 percent my family. And my family, let me read you some comments really from members of the squad under Patrick J. Adams, you know, Instagram post. Someone said that manifesting a reunion, you can't do this and not have a reunion. And my family, I'm hoping that Megan is there at that reunion. I'm really, really hoping my family. Someone said that, what amazing photos, Patty J. Adams. You captured some amazing images during your time together. What a show, cast and crew it was. Miss the entire cast. You know, my family indeed. We all miss seeing them together too. One of my favorite shows of all times and still is Suits. We miss you all. Someone else said that, my family. And may amen love this, all of them. Patrick J. Adams, you know, you should have 
quarterly dinner parties and then share the fun pics with the suits fans someone else said that my family you know reboot is easy man someone's coming out of the farm lewis needs help so he gets the gang back you know my family someone else said that my family you know we need season 10 y'all start working on it on it right now please just start working on it right now you are going to make me cry sir someone else said that where is donna you know or how i miss suits the megan marco this show changed my life you know miss you all please make a new season you know i think that from the comments really from reading from reading the comments under patrick j adams comment section i think you can clearly hear that the fans are mostly asking for a reunion my family some are asking for a new season wow my family would Megan be there in a new season? My family, I don't see that happening because Megan did say that, you know, she has no intention of going back to acting. But I, but I really, really hope that, you know, she changes her mind because Megan also said that never say never, she might go back to acting. And my family, I do believe that if she does go back to acting, that anything, any movie any series that she takes you know she's a part of my family will be a huge hit that's what i family believe really and i'm going to stick with what bacon said never say never never say never never say never and for me i do hope we see megan you know back acting in any movie in any series I believe whatever that she works on my family will be a huge, huge hit. And my family, we are all here to support Prince Harry, Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, my family. We are all here to support Harry, Meghan. And I'm even hoping that even Prince Harry himself also will also do some acting himself, my family. Even maybe both he and Meghan, you know, land a huge role in a movie or in a series together as a couple. You know, just working together. I think that that will be incredible. And as much as I hope that that may happen, I have no idea if it ever will happen. But I'm, but my family, it's okay to hope it happens, right? It's okay to hope. Someone said that, miss you all. Please make a new season. Four years, time really flies. You know? About to start watching a fourth time, my family. Someone else said that. You know, even Gabriel March, who played Harvey Specter, I believe a few weeks ago, I said I showed you that clip whereby he said, Please watch Suits as many, many times as you possibly can. And my family, I believe they'll be happy to see and really hear about the amazing performance of Suits really on Netflix. I believe that he's going to be very happy to hear this someone else said that you know where is donna love megan love love megan you know love megan someone else said that ah megan we love you the whole cast is amazing you know indeed very very true we need a reunion someone else said that please bring it back bring it back bring it back please please return for just another season someone else said that that's an amazing picture of megan marco that patrick j adams posted on his instagram account you know someone said that this was such a good group of humans i lived for the suits bloopers still go back and watch them every other month or so such a beautiful you know talented fan cast you know megan eloel i'm really so happy for her and harry you know, though a great de though a great deal less happy about the mini trauma I experienced, watching from beginning to now, how our lovely, intelligent, sweetheart of a class act Megan, simply marrying a guy she loves, triggered ancient role spare 
versus airfields that have nothing to do with her, but were blamed on her and caused very, very jealous racists, you know, to go after her and to dedicate misogynistic energy to participating in an unprecedented massive smear campaign of spreading, dehumanizing, and unhinged lies about Megan for the past seven years. My family, let me just kindly pause there because I just have something to say. It's so sad to also say that Thomas Markle, who calls himself Megan's father, has been part of the people who have been spreading misogyny against Megan. You know, it's so sad to have seen what has been happening and even continues to happen, really. It's so sad, my family. But the good thing that I'm happy about is that Megan married a good man, a good husband, and also a good father who protects his family because that's what real men do. They protect their family, you know? And someone that, you know, every word by Megan has been twisted and called a lie by liars. Every human gesture is over-analyzed and assigned negative meaning by grifters who seek to make money off of lying about her. You know? And Suits could have easily gone like nine more seasons with seven of them being a spin-off where Mike and Rachel had their own rival farm or something. So yeah, love Harry Megan, you know, but hate what Megan has experienced at the hands of the racist institution of the monarchy. My family, we also don't like what Megan has endured, whereby a woman who has never been accused of anything in her entire life falls in love and she's called all manner of disgusting, demeaning, abusive, racist names. We also have never liked seeing what we have been seeing my family. But my family, we're just happy to see that Megan and Harry are in love, that they're living their lives. And we keep praying for them, my family, that nothing ever comes in between them. That they are always together, strong, united, and in love each and every single day of their lives. And that they know that they are always loved. My family, what God has put together, let no man or woman ever separate. Harry Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, my family. You know, someone said that, you know, I miss Rachel and Mike. You know, I miss Rachel Zane and Harvey and Donna and you. Rachel Zane will always be famous. You know, someone else said that. I'll cry. I miss this car so much. Suits gave me more memories than my ex. Still miss it deeply. Someone else. <laughs> Someone else said that, my family. You know? Spin-off is needed. Someone said that. Guys, I miss you so much. Someone called Marcella said that I love Mega, it's been a long time and we want to see you again in the series you know, would like some Mike and Rachel updates, someone else said that Suits was something else stop it, I'm gonna cry, also this stunning, these photos are stunning, I miss all your beautiful friends someone else said that my family man, I'm so hooked to this show just began watching last week. Great work, sir. I miss suits. Someone else said that people are so happy. People are so happy, you know, to see these photos of Megan just living her life, my family. Before the smear campaign, before they leak into the royal family, before the negative headlines, she was just living her life. No attacks, no smear campaign, no. Thomas Markle going on TV to abuse Meghan Markle. None of that. My family, none of that. And my family, I believe that we all miss seeing Rachel Zane. Everyone misses seeing Rachel 
say Meghan Markle and also really I have to say my favorite Louis Litt also. Louis Litt, <laughs> you know, on suits. And I'm really hoping that we can get to see our union. I'm hoping it happens. And my family, because that would be so, so amazing. But one thing I want to, to take from all of this is that those who have worked with Megan only have but nice things to say about her. And her past life, as I've always said in my family, is that it is part of, a, of the huge reason why this mere campaign against Megan has been a complete and utter failure because of Megan's past life before you know, marrying to the royal family. And my family, I'm happy about that. It just goes to show that no matter what the farm does, they'll never ever destroy Megan. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Patrick J. Adams, we feel for you. We feel for you. And we do hope to see you, Megan, and the entire cast of Suits reunited. We do hope to see that. One, once again, we do hope to see that. And we're hoping it happens. And we stand with all of you. Thank you for always saying, you know, good things about Megan. For condemning the hate campaign towards Megan Markle. Thank you, Patrick J. Adams. And may God bless you. We hope to get a reunion of suits, Patrick J. Adams. You know, with you and Megan and the entire cast of suits. We do hope that that will happen. And as always, we'll always support you too, Patrick J. Adams. Because you're a good man. My family... Now you tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed kindly. I'd like to please kindly hear your opinion. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipetana, and Doria Raglan. And all of you members of the squad at home. He never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Once again, keep streaming Suits. And keep enjoying it, my family. Keep enjoying watching Suits. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.